Hey guys, what's happening? So, in the last video I uploaded, um, I showed you the uh, Celeritas concept printer. Uh, in that video, I actually had mentioned that I was designing a new heater block for a uh, V6 hot end. And, you know, one of the things I was thinking, I'm just kind of screwing around right now, I'm kind of messing with the prototyping here. And what I wanted to do was design a system without a uh, part cooling fan on the head to uh, reduce weight and to be able to increase speed. Um, so let me show you what I got here. So what I wanted to do is create some way to channel air into the nozzle. So this is actually running in a volcano nozzle. So it's not your, it has a standard V6 hot end, hot end up here, or excuse me, the uh, cooling fins. And then it's a volcano nozzle. Um, but you can see this kind of how it's ducted in to channel air in here. Um, so what I was thinking is maybe, well, I mean, this is not going to be the primary cooling, but even just a side benefit of going back and forth would channel the air into the actual nozzle for part cooling. Um, this is mainly going to be a PLA, PLA plus printer for super high speed. Um, and the primary cooling is going to be provided by a couple of, uh, where is the design stuff right now? Okay. So a couple of, uh, so on the back of the printer, I think I mentioned this, but on the back of the printer, it's going to be uh, 220 millimeter uh, blower fans that are going to provide uh, part cooling on the sides of it. So not done with this yet, but this can be like a long closed box. So there'll be actually like duct work that comes up forward and cools off and blows. It's going to blow uh, air towards this. Um, it's going to be blowing air towards this hot end right here across the bed. And I'm hoping it's going to pick up some of that air and channel it downwards. I mean, we're going to get a lot of air up, up, up underneath it, but I want to be able to channel the air down into it. And like I said, the side benefit also would just be the movement going back and forth would help channel air down into it. Um, I mean, I can change the size of this. I mean, it's not, like I said, if I'm adding too much weight to this block, um, it's going to defeat the purpose, you know, because I mean, it, if it becomes heavier than the fan and the duct work, then there's really no point. So I have to keep this to a certain weight. Like I could sit there and mess around with like the, the dimensions of this thing. Let's say 36, I could go bigger, but what I'm doing, when I'm going bigger, I'm just, all I'm doing is adding weight to it. So, um, let me just go back and, So yeah, my, my idea is I want to not have any duct work and a part cooling fan to reduce weight. Um, so I'm not actually going to be making this out of aluminum, uh, just because it's so much lighter than brass. I mean, brass and copper are better, in, or not insulator, but uh, they absorb the heat better. Um, but they're so much heavier. They're crazy, crazy heavy. Because I do actually have some heater blocks with um, that are made out of brass, but they're like twice the weight as the aluminum. So I'm trying to channel the air, but keep it light. All right, so, um, but once I get this perfected, um, actually, let me go back and I'll show you how I'm going to make it. I still need to figure out how I'm going to make this thing, too, just because of the um, generate config. Um, I'm going to run this on one of my mills, um, but I need to find a way to fixture it. So what I might do is, um, I mean, obviously, this, this won't be here, but this will be probably a long sheet of, you know, rectangle of aluminum. And I need to find a way because of this weird shape to either hold the part or I might just put it in my lathe with a four draw chuck and cut it off. First cut this profile, and then cut it off in my lathe, you know, the four, four draw chuck. You know, um, let's see, let me show you that real fast. So this is a 3D, uh, 3D, uh, what's it called? Toolpath. You know, so that was my thing with the ball mill. Go back and cut it out like that. You know, at least that was the idea. But I actually have a couple other designs too, like more rounded ones. But I kind of like, I don't know, I guess, I mean, I mean, there's some kind of benefit to it, but I don't know. A lot of the hot ends are flat on the bottom. So I'm trying to, that seems like that would impede airflow. You're not, instead of directing airflow, you're kind of impeding airflow. Unless you can get the air below it. So it makes, because I've designed, I've done a lot, I've designed a lot of extruder systems 
and trying to get airflow under like around the square stuff. Um, this is my actually my uh, Orca extruder, the other printer you saw yesterday. Um, and normally there's actually like an HDX extruder on top of here, but you know trying to duct air, be close to the bed and duct air around these square blocks is kind of a headache. So I'm also going to design probably like a round rounded uh, heater block too. Um, but yeah, I mean I do like I like the I think the the V6 hot end thing is it's I like this designer here actually. Um, I mean it's very I mean it, it doesn't it serves its purpose. The other thing too is with the, because this printer is so uh, going to be moving so fast and pushing so much filament through, I'm hoping it's not going to have enough time to heat creep. So I'm going to run a 30 millimeter fan. Or actually, let me show you that thing here. Um, this is the, actually the, the Celeritas hot end for that uh, cross XY. And you can see here, this is going to be reduced. I, I'm still kind of screwing in with this, but that extruder, this little, this thing right here will be on the bottom of this. I guess I could save it and put it in here. Well, once I'm done with this, I can save it and copy it and put it into this, uh, this part. But this will be actually down. I'm, I'm reducing this by about 10 millimeters. Um, so I gotta finish this, and then I gotta go back, and I gotta finish my where's it? The cooling, the cooling box. And um, yeah, because all these all have to work together, um, you know, for maximum speed. Uh, yeah, so 30 millimeter is definitely probably enough when you're moving enough filament. There's not enough time for the filament to heat creep. Um, you know, ideally, a 40 millimeter is probably better. I've actually experienced heat creep sometimes with 30 millimeter. So if you have any sort of like fan, something covering a fan duct up here in the front, you know, any sort of like uh, restrictions, a 30 millimeter is not gonna not gonna cut it. I've experienced that. Like when I tried to make it all, you know, like uh, pretty and um, you know, try to make it look all cool, um, it would basically re reduce airflow and basically would create heat creep issues here. So. Yeah, this is probably, I mean, I've designed probably five or six extruder systems. Um, they're on my Thingiverse page. But, all right, so i got to finish this and uh, do other things. But let me know what you guys think of this design. If you have any better ideas, you know, how I'd change it. Um, like I said, I don't want to get too, I don't want to make this so big where it basically becomes heavier than a fan and an air duct. So... All right, cool. Got to go out and make this thing now. All right, awesome.